Buffalo a day early, and so that way they can make it happen. Anyway, Gabe McDonald, Skylar Callahan, and yours truly, Michael Sapp. Back in the building, so let's do this thing for quick six. Gabe, you're up first. What Panthers player will have the best defensive stat line this weekend? A guy that's been a dog for quite a while. Give me Frankie Louvu. I think he's going to have a pretty tough task being a spy on Lamar Jackson, but he's really good sideline to sideline, really showing some speed this year. So give me Frankie Louvu. I think probably double-digit tackles once again. As for that spy, Jeremy Chen got to come back for this game. Skyler, the Hornets are 4-12 and right now. They have 21 games before the new year. Do they break 10 wins before then? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Even with LaMelo Ball, I don't know that they're going to get to that mark. So I'm going to have to pass. This team's just in a, in a big mess right now. No. Okay. Back to the Panthers, Mike. Who's one player that's not getting enough love right now? Well, I think he's just starting to. Steve Franklin. Been great special teams, nominated by his coaches for the Pro Bowl. And I'm doing a story on him on Sunday for Black and Blue Kickoff Live. So, free plug there. Yeah, Sam yeah. Franklin, absolute dog. Uh, Gabe, since the Braves appear to be for sale, it got us kind of thinking. What franchise would you purchase if you had any money to do so? That's a good one. Hopefully I get to that point. Probably won't, but hey, you never know. Might win the lottery one day. I would probably, probably a soccer team maybe. I'd like to buy um, like FC Barcelona. Oh, oh, okay. Over yeah. the Saints, you? Yeah, I wouldn't want to buy. I mean, I mean, yeah, that's my squad, but I don't think I'd want to like own the team. Like, I'd want to be a fan. It's kind of different. So I'd want to own a, a team that I'm not a fan of. Skyler, West Virginia fired their athletic director on Monday after a poor start to the football season. Was that the right choice? You cover them. Yes, 100%. Shane Lyons is a great administrator. He's done a lot of good things at WVU, has really helped take that athletic department to new heights. But in terms of the, the football situation, you gave Neil Brown a two-year extension after winning six games. I think that's all I need to say for that one. I mean. They, they, they've that's got to it. Make that's all you have time to say. Yeah. Mike, make up a tradition for Thanksgiving that everyone has to do. Rice Aroni must be part of every Thanksgiving Day feast. Period. Mm -hmm. You know where that treat is from? San Francisco, man. Here you, you go. It is. Oh my.